Hi, I'm Kristen with NevadaPain.com and today we talked with Dr. Tori McJunkin about sacroiliac joint pain. This is the spine model that you guys have all seen before. The back part here, the spinous process, and you can feel those if you bend forward and feel on your own back. Down here, so this is the lumbar spine, that's the lowest part of the spine. Down below here is the sacrum. So this area here that looks like a triangle, that's the sacrum. And then your tailbone attaches to that at the end. The iliac bone is this bone here, and it goes and connects over to where your hip is. So this joint here is called the sacroiliac joint. It's a large joint, it's a weight-bearing joint. All the weight of your body from the upper extremities comes down your spine, goes through the sacroiliac joint, or comes through the sacrum, goes through the sacroiliac joint, to the iliac bones, and then through your hips and down your legs. So it's a very important joint that we, uh, we have. As you age, that joint starts to fuse. Some people will get arthritis in, the, in that joint. Very common cause of low back pain. When people have pain in the sacroiliac joint, typically it feels like low back and buttock type pain. Usually it doesn't radiate below the knee, although occasionally it will. Something that's very common with sacroiliac joint pain is pain in that same area, but also pain on the side of the leg. So some people all complain of hip pain with sacroiliac joint pain. The pain can be quite severe. It can be in this area. Some people feel radiation that comes to the front. The pain that they get on the side here is called a bursitis, and typically that's from incorrect movements. And so whenever you have pain of any kind, your body moves just a little bit differently than if you didn't have pain. And that causes incorrect movements in this joint and also along that bursa. So oftentimes we can push on this and there's a couple of different maneuvers that we can do as physicians to test if you have pain in that joint. The ultimate test is really a diagnostic block and it's called a sacroiliac joint injection or we call it a SI joint injection. But basically you put a needle right into the inferior pole or the bottom pole of the sacroiliac joint. You put medicine right along there. You can watch the medicine spread into the joint and then you watch and see if the pain feels better. For many people, that will give them significant relief. The other things that are commonly done for this condition is physical therapy, active release techniques. So all there's some strong ligaments and muscles that come into this area. All of those things need to be relaxed. And then the ultimate goal is to get you moving in the proper way. So what we try and do as pain doctors is get you out of pain, whether it be from an injection or acupuncture or some other kind of treatment get you out of pain and get you into some therapy and try and get that correct movement because if we do an injection and you keep moving the same way that you're moving before the sacroiliac joint pain will come back and oftentimes the bursitis will come back too many times we'll treat both of those conditions at the same time the other thing that we'll do for stubborn sacroiliac joint pain is we'll do radiofrequency and so we do something called medial and lateral branch blocks where we numb up the little joints in the lumbar spine but also come down into this joint and those uh, all radiate over to this area here we numb those little guys up you watch and see if the pain feels better sometimes we'll do a double diagnostic block where we do it a couple times you watch and see if it feels better if it feels a whole lot better then we can cauterize those little nerves we test the nerves before we cauterize to make sure we're in the right area if we cauterize those nerves the average pain relief is about one year one of the tricky things for us as doctors is two-thirds of the nerves for the sacroiliac joint come from the back part here and one-third come from the front all the way up here. So we can work on those nerves in the back, but the front nerves, there's not too much that we can do about. So if sometimes we'll do that procedure and it won't work quite as well as some of the other types of procedures that we do. Um, if that's the case for you, then there are some other things that we can think about. Um, sometimes we'll think about things like spinal cord stimulation, which is a pacemaker for pain. Um, obviously, uh, you want to continue to do stretching, exercises, active release techniques. All of those kinds of things are really critical. Um, another thing that some surgeons will do is they'll actually fuse that joint. They have a minimally invasive way to fuse that. Um, there are only certain surgeons who actually do that procedure. Um, and that's for really, really rare cases who don't respond to any other treatments. For more information about sacroiliac joint pain and other conditions and treatments, check out NevadaPain.com. We change lives here.